Uh, hey, uh, my name's Penn Ward. Ken Osborne. Cole Sanchez. Sylvia Lizarapod. Rebecca Sugar. Jesse Moynihan. Tom Herbick. Okay. That was perfect. <laughs> And there's uh as if I said my name wrong. <laughs> everyone's everyone's eating chips now. And all natural licorice. This is uh good. My, Jesse and Bert Yoon, who's not here right now. Bert was working out of uh, Korea. So oh, we yeah. uh, this is my first remote uh, episode with a <clears throat> other storyboarder. And also Cole mm. got promoted. So I wasn't boarding with him anymore. Tears. <laughs> yeah. Ben, remember, yeah. You come up with the Toast Sisters. And what did we? Yeah, it was Cole and I came up with the Breakfast Princesses. Yeah, we took a, an online boat. Oh yeah, we put it on a certain social media yep. program, and we asked everyone who uses that program if uh, which Breakfast Princess they wanted. Yeah. And it was they they liked both of them. It was, yeah, yeah it was like tied. Yeah. So we put them both in the same bed. Yeah. Tossed them in. How many times have we warned you about it's, using Who was it? Who was it before? Before you guys? Man, who cares oh, if it's I think it was Princess Bubblegum at oh. or first or something. Yeah, 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 it was. I don't know. We changed it. I don't remember why, but I remember drawing the the girl with bacon on her head. <laughs> and her her uh, bread dress, and you drew little French French yeah, toast little, sister. Little, little toast sister. There's a Bert face. Oh yeah, you don't see that anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, that face was unique to Bert Yoon's drawing style, which is super funny. Yeah. Uh, I think it's more like sort of anime influenced. Or, yeah. Uh, Japanese cartoon influenced. And uh, those, would, those kinds of faces. In, in Ocean of Fear, the, the scene when Finn gets hit with the water, uh, I'd drawn a face there, and and then Penn was uh, gave it to Bert to sort of plus up, and he pushed it to that really like super crazy extreme face. It's like a million times funnier. It's really amazing. And that was Ghost Trump who came up with all those wild oranges like floating everywhere in the background, uh, and like dripping orange juice into big cups of OJ. Those are awesome. Leaving the castle. Ghost Shrimp, aka Dan Bandit. Dan Bandit. T M A N. Is this the first um, Dear, usage of internet? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I had to talk to Bert on on uh, with a camera through the internet. Are you talking about the Ice King's computer or the? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, two <laughs> firsts. And quiet. Both about the internet. Was it? I don't think that's the first. No. I think the first was you put like a blog into one of the other I I got earlier to episodes. Didn't I get taken out? Oh, maybe I took it out. I don't remember. Uh, that was a long time ago. That was a different episode. In the pilot, Jake can get on the internet with his mind. That's right. Oh, right. That's where in the. Not anymore. Will you remember, Ken? I just in the out in the when we we're re working on the outline, I remember going, "Wait, so the Ice King's gonna get on a lot? What?" I was like really confused. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <there he> is. <laughs> Telescope stuck right in his eye. We got it in, in there. I hired a hitman, not a fireman. Uh, I got paid to do the voice of Scorcher, who has one line at the end of this. Episode. I'll point it out when it happens. Uh, some of my drawings in the scene are. That's a weird fin drawing. We I just know. Thought. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Is, this the, is this the first instance of Meat Man? Yeah. Yeah, this is the first. And is there another instance of Meat Man later? Or, or do we just always talk about Meat Man, but we never put him in there? I don't think he's been in anything else. I remember uh, we laughing so hard at this pitch of Meat Man because they were just rattling off about. <laughs> Getting meat off this dude and bad, <laughs> bad dreams and uh, that was so awesome. I mean, I, I assumed that he, it's like coming off of his body. Is that? Yeah. Maybe you, well, should we oh. spoil the mystery? Whoa! Don't, Sorry, you mean the mystery? Hey, this is where. <laughs> oh, that was that was Ken Osborne. It's like a line under his nose <laughs> yeah. in every shot. Didn't, I didn't know how. To, yeah, <laughs> didn't know how to solve an undershot of Ice King and how his nose and related to his mustache when he, he's looking up. So it looked like a cone sort of coming off his head. Yeah. <laughs> and that's costing the production hundreds of dollars. 
Um, I think at this point, uh, it's, uh, uh, beginning of season three, I, I still had, I don't think I'd even maybe seen any work friends come back from season two yet, or had I? Hmm. I don't know, but I was still making a lot of uh, mistakes that I've since sort of <laughs> fixed in my mind. Uh, visual, visual, like just model mistakes. And I like those. I liked everything, man. Yeah, yeah. those legs are so awesome. Painful. Yeah, that was on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> you just you know which way my legs were. <laughs> I remember you were all hung up because the internet was was complaining about your yeah your your jakes. It kind of like shocked me. Mm. I was uh, in a state of shock about it. Thing. Expand. No. Just like they didn't like my drawings. I don't know. It How did that feel? Felt bad. I mean, nothing like that had ever happened before. Yeah. No. You're a real human being, right, Jesse? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I got feelings and uh, an art ego. Um, a friend uh, in college uh, had a talking deer head that I thought was really funny. And I was just trying to give Ice King some bro stuff to have. Real, like, live alone bro stuff. At least renegotiate the target. Man, man cave items. <laughs> What about Lumpy Space Princess? Ghost Princess? I can't even hold her with my love mitts. Jeez! Oh, uh... <laughs> oh! A, a leg cramp! In my leg! Ow! Ow! Do you have any generalized thoughts about this season, Jesse? I can't even remember what episode there it is we're in this season. Cut that part. Start here. Also, there's a spelling or uh, there's a spelling error in one of these. That's nuts. I think there might be two spelling errors. Target acquired. It's spelled wrong. Oh, there's a C. Acquired. <laughs> yeah, there's a C in acquired. Oh, I love this design. Oh, uh, Blastronaut? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool, man. <laughs> Those are really good. Uh, that's my. That's as close to anime as I <laughs> ever tried to get. It's nice. I was thinking about anime when I did that scene. <laughs> my twice removed idea of anime. Look, a supermodel! Look, a hoverboard. Uh, uh, thing explodes and the guy wins. Was. was this Tom Kenny uh, uh, ad living? The boing boings? No. Oh, that was my change, yeah. I think. Had we had to change a whole bunch of stuff. But with, boing with that word boing loinks. Boing loinks ended up being the best. Uh, humor wise, I think it, worked. It, it caught on with the internet also. <laughs> they liked it. You see this a lot on the internet. Oh yeah, like that's a meme. meme. Gif of that. Or I've seen some things or whatever that meme is. Right. I think I'm gonna stop eating meat, man. Oh, the internet. I know, but shush. We look at you so much. You make us sad a lot of the time. Okay. I hired a guy to kill you by accident. What? I thought he was gonna just hit you in the gut and make you spit up your lunch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sensitive. I like. I always liked it. I thought it was funny in like a well, maybe in an unhealthy way. Like I thought it was uh, really funny when people would tear would tear apart the episodes. I'd be like, ah, yeah, you hate it, and I made it, and you hate it, and I'm making you hate. It. Uh, but then most people get real sad. I think. <laughs> uh, I have both of those reactions at the same simultaneously. Laughing and crying. I have a weird relationship with it, I think, because I, when I really, I used to do that when I really loved something. So, I mean, you don't, you don't take the energy to deeply hate something you don't deeply love in some other way. Mm -hmm. So I, I kind of end up not knowing how to feel about it. I'm, I think it mostly makes me sad now because it's so. It doesn't stop. It's the same thing. It's never going to change. Everyone's going to hate it and like it. And there's nothing you can do about it. And it's super tiring to think about it. I'm going to kill you guys. Hey, I'll kill you. If anyone's making anything, you should dig it because they're putting energy into it. And that's, that's a positive thing. Well, everything? Yeah, unless it's garbage. <laughs> Back at square one again. <laughs> 
We don't trust you. You'll thank me later. I think my line's coming up. Can't wait. Out. You I don't remember. need to do this anymore. There it is. They're dead. There are a lot of different endings here. Myself. Oh, I think in Scorcher's poem there might be also a spelling error. <clears throat> uh, is that it? Was that my line? Nope. <laughs> You can, uh, I think you can blame Andy Restino for the spelling error in, in Scorcher's poem, because he wrote the poem. Notoriously bad speller. <laughs> yeah, Andy Restino, <laughs> notoriously bad speller. He wanted us to bring him up in this <laughs> recording. <laughs> Sorry, Andy. Did I miss it? Uh, yeah. Oh, right there. oh. Uh, echoes of Pat. Uh. <laughs> I got three words in. All that's over. Whatever. Y'all can look it up. Mm. <laughs> or pause it, right? And you bought the DVD. Yeah. <clears throat> hey guys, guess what? You're grounded. Like, is, is his skin darker? Somehow it makes him look oh, colder. This is an instance where the Ice King actually wins. Which uh, oh yeah yeah that's I think rare. It's pretty rare. Yeah. At least up until this point, right? 